We're in the bottling plant now at VPX Redline. We're going to go in to a uh, production facility. We're at the end of the line here, so we're going to start you off in the beginning, this way. Over there, you'll see bulk material. It comes in from our other facility at 1600. We'll be going there in a minute. All that material comes in in bulk. It's received at our other facility at 1600, where every bit of it is sampled for quality control, purity, potency, and everything on this side. It's tested. When it comes back with one of these green stickers, it means it's released. It goes from there. If in bulk, it's broken down on this side into single packages, and then it goes on its way to, to bulk weighing, which is over here. So from here, we go into pre-weigh, which is in this room here, where each component of the formula is weighed on these super high-tech scales, <laughs> little buckets containing all of, all of the basic ingredients of all of our uh, of all of our products from that room you get these containers of components to the liquid mix which go into this room into these big mixing vats where they're combined and mixed and then put into these big tote containers they're about 300 gallons these things weigh about 1500 pounds to a close to a ton a piece. From there, samples are taken of that liquid back to the lab, tested to make sure they agree with the label on the bottle, and they're brought over here to this staging area where the complete, where the complete liquid product is held until it gets one of these green stickers that says it's released. In this case, we are making Triple Berry RTD, uh, which is our uh, red, line, red line drink, Red Line RTD, Triple Berry drink, released, ready for bottling. Now, pretty soon, because we're growing so much, these 300 gallon totes are going to be replaced by these 1600 gallon, ta gallon tanks and piped directly into the bottling facility. Looks That's, like a, like an oil tanker almost. They, they they came from another facility that was making I don't know some kind of drink that the green tea right green tea. How many gallons of those? Sixteen hundred. So we're going to go from three hundred gallon totes to sixteen hundred gallon tanks. Now what do we do with this stuff once uh, once it's once tanks? it's once it's in the liquid and it's released it's ready for bottling and it goes this way. Boxes of our empty plastic bottles our own proprietary molded plastic bottles come in here, they're dumped into this big vat, go up on a conveyor, they go into here to our bottling facility. The bottles come down into here, they're flipped over by that machine, they come down here, and this thing stands them up, whether they're facing this way or facing that way, this little machine will pick them up and stand them up, so that every bottle is standing up as it comes into the line. All along the way you see these little infrared eyes. They keep track of everything so that the operators know what's going on all over on every step of the way. So from there, the bottles come into here. This is going into our labeling. They get labeled first. All of these labels we produce in-house in our own graphics department. They're designed and contrived and approved right here on lot, in our facility. These are our own labels. They go into this labeling machine up over there, down here. Somewhere along the line there's a whole other thing that had to cut the label properly. There's a there's a infrared eye <coughs> and, every, and a photo eye every step of the way that tells the machine exactly where the where the label is in the line. Cuts it off, sticks it on a bottle. These rubber bands down here press it down and keep it pressed down, and it goes into the heat, heat shrinking machine. Bottles come out of the heat shrinking machine, and they're all shrunk to the right, nice and tight to the bottle. 
stuff over here. They come down, go up, and we're just wearing a lot number and, uh, and all of the you know, important information so we can track the bottle. It's printed on the label. Comes through here. This is one of those big 300 gallon totes you saw in the other room. From here, it's piped directly into the bottling machine. the bottles go into here and they go into this bottling facility where they're actually filled with the product coming out of that 300 gallon tote. So what's this nitrogen for? The nitrogen they cap off, they pump a little bit of nitrogen into the air space in the top of the bottle. Nitrogen doesn't compress like air. So when, we are, when the bottles are in racks or in refrigerators, it keeps the integrity of the bottle intact because it doesn't collapse. This machine screws the cap on. And then it comes through here and they're checked. Now that's a lot of bottles. How many bottles are produced here a day? 13,000 bottles an hour, which translates to uh, about 2 million cases a year. Wow. Running two shifts. Now we sell, the, the, our RTDs come four to a pack, so they come into this side and this machine where they're boxed up into our four packs. The label comes in, the box comes in on this side, a little suction cup, holds it down. The machine actually folds it right around the bottles, crimps it together and glues it at the bottom. They come right out here, four to a pack, nice and secure. Are these ready to ship now? Ready to ship, they're gonna come into here and get get put into a case, six, six uh, packs, six boxes to a case, and then they're shrink wrapped. You can see that machine come through, wrap the plastic around the top, then it comes into here where they're heat sealed, and they come out all nice and heat shrinked. This machine turns them around, orient them in the right direction so the packers can grab them. They're labeled with their tracking number and barcode. It's tracked right here. And right here, these guys are actually building a pallet. And they have to be constructed a certain way so they get the right number of, of cases on a pallet while retaining the uh, integrity of the cube. Because once the pallet is done, it has to end up looking like this so it fits right on the truck. So you'll see there's spaces, you'll see there's spaces in the middle to, because the number, of, the number of boxes of case, the number of boxes in the case do not even to equal the right size of the cube. So we have to construct it so it looks just like that. 1,300 bottles per day, huh? 13,000 13, bottles an hour. 13,000 bottles an hour. Two million cases a year.